Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, another SolidWorks tutorial with Morgan Breath here. <clears throat> um, today I want to kind of help something, help some people out that are possibly just getting into SolidWorks for the first time. Uh, when you first get SolidWorks and you have it on your computer, there's a great chance that um, the settings or the, for your measurements are, are going to be in millimeters. Uh, one of the dead giveaways is if you look here at the bottom bottom right, you have MMGS, which is millimeter, um, gram in second. Um, you do not want to use uh, millimeter units. I will show you two ways of fixing that. Uh, the first way is something that's not like a permanent fix, but if you're in a quick hurry and you don't want to worry about either a converting millimeters to inches you can also just do something pretty quick which I will show you here so in my sketch I am at 25.4 millimeter length and width uh, if you want to quickly go ahead and throw this as a inch um, dimension uh, you can simply click type 6 want to do 6 inches and do in SolidWorks will recognize the IN as inches. It'll grow the part. It still shows in a millimeter, but um, that way you don't have to worry about converting inches to millimeters. That's a quick fix for that if you want to do it on the fly. Uh, but the ultimate fix for this is, I know my, my uh, whole setup up here may be totally different from yours, but the first thing you'll do is go over to options And you can't change the units of measurement just from your home screen, I believe. I, I, I've, I know that anytime I've ever changed um, the units of the measurement, I have to be in a part. Because when you're in the part, you click on document properties. And this is where you click on units. And this is where you have your unit system. You can change it to anything you want. And so if you do IPS, inch pound second, now you are in inches. Um, this is also the same place where you would change your decimal. So if you don't want to have 0.12, um, you can add whatever decimal you want out on your part or your dimension, sorry. So I'll just do one, two, three, four, just to show. So now if I go back to my sketch, one inch and they got one two three. so that's that's how you do that this is a, a kind of a quick tip um i have kind of a couple of those tucked away in the old noggin from work so i would like to put them out on youtube for people to benefit from uh, if you have any suggestions about what you might need help with in solidworks leave a comment down below and i will do my best to help you because i love learning if i don't already know it and two, I like teaching people things. Um, so thanks for watching. This is pretty simple, but uh, doing having your measurements be in the wrong unit can be very frustrating. And um, it's, it's not as uh, easy to find it as you would think. Um, because again, uh, just to show you, you click on options here, there is no document properties. So you cannot change your unit. So you have to be in a part. You can just open up a blank part Change it there, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate you very much. Uh, like and subscribe if you would like to, and uh, don't be afraid to say hi. Have a good one, guys.